At the beginning of this video, we gave examples of multiple types of environmental hazards which exist on or off a property. Let's examine some of the more common instances more closely. Asbestos is any of a diverse variety of fibrous materials which are commercially mined from natural deposits in the earth. In the 1940s, manufacturers began mixing asbestos fibers with substances commonly used to produce materials for construction of residential and commercial real estate improvements. As we later learned, asbestos is a known carcinogen. When an occupant of a building continues to inhale asbestos fiber, they increase their risk of developing negative health conditions. Now, here, here's another distinction you need to be familiar with within the context of asbestos. Friable and non-friable. Construction materials which contain friable asbestos are those that can be crumbled and pulverized or reduced to powder by hand pressure when dry. Construction materials which contain non-friable asbestos cannot be crushed by hand pressure. Ultimately, think of asbestos in the context of whether or not you can crush it with your hand. Of course, on the removal of stucco or plaster, the asbestos may become friable since the material is disturbed and broken down for removal, creating particles which may become airborne and inhaled. The seller of a property constructed with asbestos-containing building materials is under no obligation to investigate or have a survey conducted to determine the existence of friable or non-friable asbestos on the property. Further, the seller is not obligated to remove or clean up any adverse asbestos condition. However, the condition, if known, must be disclosed. As a result, a prospective buyer may well condition the purchase of a property containing friable asbestos on its cleanup and removal by the seller. <laughs>